Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself, but modded, though, because we are going to be... Wow, okay. We are going to be checking out the infinite again here today. Crit chance scaling up. We got 50% and... Which is the highest you can get. And, and another one? So, sorry, I'm tilted. And they gave me Thief Stagger, which... This feels like a trap. Thief Dagger honestly sucks, but it's so obviously good with this. Five engineering down, couldn't care less. 30 range down. We like... This is a good roll day. This is a very good roll day. Um, Wow. Okay. So yeah, when we buy crit, we get a lot more crit. The thing is, it's not really that good for scaling. It, it's a very good thing to have for like the early and mid game. But it's not that great for long-term scaling because it's kind of like... To an extent, who's going to care? God, yeah, that brought us all the way up there. I'll take the thief daggers, though. Because as soon as we hit 100 crit, there's no more value. Oh, this is also a, a good time to talk about uh, a new change that was made to the infinite. Huge thanks to Dammy for helping out with it. Uh, it does actually properly apply tags now. So you are more likely to get things that your perk would suggest you'd want. It's not for everything, but... Holy crap. Yeah, we're going to hit 100 on this real fast. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not going to give it for everything. There's a couple perks where it's like they're a little bit more uh, build independence, and it's, you know, you don't really want to have a full build because you got like a little bit of flat melee or something like that but uh in general you should be able to get more cohesive builds here which is an exciting angle uh that is one of the big things i wanted done okay shoot before i released it in the discord that was like a big a big stopping point for me so the fact that that's in is really really exciting very very cool so yeah sh you're more likely to get uh get tools like that so theoretically, today we are more likely to find crit chance items. You know, like, like we are more likely to find hunting trophy. Kind of like, you know, all of the base characters in the base game. We're more likely to get stuff going like that. Uh, four flat melee sounds good. Thief Stagger is so bad, though, because it has a 0.5 scaling at the start, which is just so, so bad. And at this, I say at the start, but it never gets more as far as I'm aware. So we need to find, like, another angle. Like, the good news is we're getting money out of it right now. Like, if you kill with Thief's Dagger, you have a 30% chance to gain a material. It does scale up. I don't know if it goes up by 5 or if it goes up by 10 each time. I'm not... I don't remember. But, like, ranking it up is very, very good. We'll want to theoretically run it a lot for the early game here. Where the damage doesn't really matter. Farm up a whole heap and help enough money that is heretofore eh, unseen with a thief dagger focus run early on. Take the armor. Take the thief dagger. Take the claw tree. Keep on going. Keep on going. Wow me. Wow me. Pick up range. Got a lot of money. I want to. I want to use it to scale these up. Go. Oh! Let's go. Uh, boxing glove is a maybe. Actually, I'm gonna say no though. So 30, 30 Oh, weird. Thirty six percent chance on the blue one to get money. But yeah, we should be doing really, really well for a while. But with a 0.5 scaling, like our max cap is. He's kind of trashy. The good news being that we're at 75 crit already. So, like, if we focus on... If we're always 100% critting, which we will in not too far from now, we kind of have a 1 to 1 ratio on damage, right? Because if we're doing 2 times damage, we're going to be sort of doing 1 to 1 melee damage to damage. It's goofy. It's very, very goofy. But this is actually, this is the Dream Thief Dagger setup, right? Melee damage, I'll take it. I'll take the armor. I need, like, I need to be a little bit more reliable there. 
You know, I'm taking Goat Skull. Uh, well, do we take a second Goat Skull, though? Yes. We still have a 73% chance to crit on that. Oh, it goes up to 78. It gets an extra 5 per. It's worth. It's worth. It's worth. Like, that's the nice thing about having such high scaling is we can just fix that problem pretty quickly. Taking a 4% crit chance down. It's probably the equivalent of like a 8%, 7 or 8%. It seems like... Because I don't know what our second critical scaling is. Like, it's just a... Uh, it's an unfortunate situation that we are just unable to kind of uh, see what that second one is. It's just how the items stack in Brotato with this character. It's... I don't know. Maybe it's something I could look into, seeing if I could make it so they don't stack, even though they're the, technically the same thing, but it's... It runs the risk of breaking so much stuff. Take melee. Take tree. Another goat skull. You'd think we'd tag for melee, but we're not. I do know that this is tagged. This is tagged for crit chance. I'm taking it because we'll be able to... You've got to be kidding me. I... I know we're not tagged for it. Unless Goat Skull is accidentally tagged for crit chance. Which could be a thing. All my hard work. I'll take it. I'll take it. We gotta... We'll get something like a... um, Like sunglasses. Sunglasses would be an immediate, almost like 20% crit chance, right? Okay, I gotta be careful. Survivability is garbanzo beans. It is non-existence. I almost walked right into that guy. Okay. I mean, ideally, I'd like to find more, more insanity... Percentage damage down, but you get extra crit chance. The thing is, like, tags in the base game, it's not like all of a sudden you're going to be seeing everything you want. You know, you're just more likely to. It's like an extra 5% five, 5 chance or something like that. I'm going to go for attack speed here. Yes, that'll help over the long term, if there is one. Totally blindfold will be nice. Hunting trophy. All right, faith restored. I do think we're tagged. And, and Alloy. Faith restored. I totally think we're tagged. This is exciting. Okay. That being said, again, it is. no matter what happens today, a reminder that I need this loud and clear. Being tagged, as far as I'm aware, only increases your chance of finding items you want by 5%. Now, it does add up to be uh, a lot over the course of time. Sure. Because you're rolling through a lot of items. But, like, keep that in mind. Whoop. It's just kind of like a nice quality of life thing to make it so... Oh, boy. Over the course of time, you're more likely to get what you want. Oh. Please. Please. No summons over here. All right. All right. I just wanted to live there. I, we could have done a lot better, but I just wanted to live. All right, give me the crit chance. Good, good, good. That's a lot of value. Okay. Are we at... Uh, we're Okay, we're at 100 already on the purples. Okay, okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. That is so exciting. These, didn't, these never took that long to get up to max, but the fact that they're at max already means we can now pivot into just taking attack speed and melee damage... Which has kind of been the problem with Thieves' Dagger, which is a weapon that I think, truthfully, in the base game with the base characters in base settings on literally anybody, isn't that good. It's not that good. It just requires a little bit too much uh, to get off the ground. But uh, guess what? When you have a perk that's giving you, like, double crit chance because we rolled two of them, then today's the day. Now, that being said, it's no guarantee we're going to live. But if we do, look how much money we get. Oh, 
my god. Yes. Armor, yes. Crit chance, actually unnecessary at this point. We can focus on melee damage or survivability. And that is what I'm going to do. Okay, I will, I'll take Poisonous Tonic, though. Armor, a little bit of speed down. I'm not going to sit there. Nah. Range up. What's my range? I actually, I'll take a little bit of range up. Thank you. I'll take Finn. I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take the defectives. The, you know, got to be careful not to say that because I don't want that clipped. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's the Binding of Isaac problem. Okay, we're, we're doing work now. And that all being said... We're doing work, but the Thieves' Dagger still is only doing 60 damage. By having 100% crit chance, critting on every single hit, Thieves' Dagger does as much damage as a normal weapon would right now. That's literally what it takes. That's what it takes. I don't know. I feel like it could use a little bit of, little bit of love on the damage front, because it's like... The, the way it's statted, it's an item where you're like, oh, I guess I should just run, what, like one of them? But it doesn't really feel like it ever makes sense to run one of a utility item that is not... that's competing for kills, you know? Like, how much money do you really get out of it if you're only running one? Risking a lot there? And making a lot. All right. I'll take another blindfold, though. Why, though? I guess I don't know. Armor, good. Black belt, good. Mastery, great. I don't really want Gentle Alien right now. I'll take it. I don't want it. Immediately convince itself. What I need is attack speed. This is really good, though. If we can live this wave, we are in such a good spot. And I think we can. We just need to stack attack speed. Because we're going to have so much money that we're going to be able to buy anything we want. And what we want at this point is... Yeah, going to be attack speed and survivability. We need some kind of uh, reliable regeneration. I don't even remember what our negative perks were. Oh, that's right, because we high-rolled them. Because they don't matter today. This is a lucky day. In so many regards, this is such a lucky day. And it takes a day this lucky for, for this weapon to not be bad. That's why I want to take advantage of it, right? Like, when a day like this shows up, you have to use it. You have to use it to do the thing you never could do before. This could be an incredible shuriken run. Or it could be the best Thieves' Dagger run. That being said, the best Thieves' Dagger run is still not that impressive in the long run. Okay, we can totally take this and still be at 100 on everything, right? Yep. Some exciting items that I don't want. My range is very bad. That's what I've been wanting. That's so good for us. That's so good for us. And then we want to stack uh, gentle aliens. If we win the horde wave, we should win this wave. One would imagine. Oh yeah, we had 30 range down. That's why. I was like... I was just thinking, like, I know we've been taking some blindfolds, but why is our range as bad as it is? Freaking the 30. It, it, does, it does matter. It's not that it doesn't matter, but we... It's not that big of a deal, and we high-rolled it. That can be as bad as... Let me be real. Range, I think, goes down to negative 100. <laughs> you could, like, have a terrible time. You could straight up have a terrible time. In a real... There's a real world in which... How much range does this have at a start? 150? There is a... 
a, an extremely minuscule chance that you could get a 300% or a 300 range down and literally not be able to attack. But the chance of that happening is like one in... Oh, God. It's, it's so small. It's like... It's so unlikely it's not even worth considering. And it, you know what? If it happened, it would just be kind of funny. Uh, we can take Missile now. We got the extra attack speed juice. More range down? Let's buy ourselves a little bit more. Um, I like the idea of buying ourselves more crit chance that we can throw away. Because there's some really good items that you can't normally feel like you would be able to take, right? Also, 60%. Okay. I want another hunting trophy. It's it's not that great anymore. Like, it's helpful today. Like, it's, it's going to be a very good thing today, obviously. But we're making a lot, and that's because we have the 60% on the legendary as well. It's the things stacked together. Multiple hunting trophies, though. Now we're talking. Yeah, if anything is in my melee range, they are gone. But my melee range is so small. Uh-oh. Get the hell out. Get the hell out. Okay. Four... Melee damage. Hmm. Crown? No. <laughs> uh, I, I actually... I actually looked. I actually looked. Uh, sunglasses. It's fun to be on a run like this and not want it. I think I'd rather go HP regen. Usually would rather go HP regen on a melee run like this. Wheat, I suppose. Why not? Okay, what's the range? Minus 12, so it's kind of more like a minus 6. Kill the babies. We are literally robbing babies. Stealing candy from babies. The run. This is the ultimate thief run, though. Like... At least in... Uh, in early access, you know, like you could just stack just a dumb amount of uh, hunting trophies. A reminder, if you did not play in the demo days like that uh, hunting trophy used to be a common and it used to be 100 percent like imagine it was a 100 percent chance on crit to gain one material and it was a common like, you could get, like, a million of them. You could get a million of them at 100%. So, like, this is the closest feeling I'm getting to that stuff. There we go. The tags are working. I would imagine is what's going on there. Sure. All right, a little bit scary. But yeah, I'd like to get our range into the positive. There's just so many good things to take. Okay. All right, if we kill a host, we have to chase down the babies. And in fact, like, we should kill hosts and chase down the babies. We need them gone, otherwise our life is going to get really scary. If we pop them on accident and we don't fix it. That is the worst case scenario. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, this is going to be a lot of money if I live. This is going to be so much money in the event that I live. Oh, yes. Yes. No. No. Maybe I do. I, I do want lifesteal as well. Kill the babies. I know what I said. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no surprise. That wave should be feasting. Yeah, I... Hell, we should probably make it up to the freaking... Max. Like, this... This should... To be clear, I think this run should be this good. Okay, I'm gonna stay... <laughs> I kinda need to... This run is so strong that I'm gonna buy Ritual. We have that much money. I guess I should probably get the piggy bank as well. Like, I got so much money that I can afford to buy Ritual. Had a bowl of nails for breakfast without any milk. But yeah, we are we are scaling to the point where this weapon is doing okay damage. Like at any point we could literally pivot into a normal knife and we'd be like we'd be doing like I don't know, like a thousand right now or something to put it things into perspective. I, I that's overselling it a bit, but if this was a one-to-one -one scaling, it'd be 300, and then the knife... So it'd be doing, like, we'd be doing about 600 damage with the knife right now. Just a stan standard knife would be about 600 damage instead of 162. To put things into perspective. And I think it'd be doing it the same speed, maybe faster? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love it so much. We have we have successfully stolen everything. Speed and range, yes. And then I'm going to immediately tank some range as well. I'll take Ritual. How's my dodge? 10%? I'll keep it. Tractor, no. Doesn't make sense to get the bony anymore. Da bony, da bony. Doing 198. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And those guys are... St we're, we're doing numbers, finally. Oh, it's the dream. I've always wanted this run with the Thieves Dagger. I've always wanted this run to work. It just needs so much help. It just needs so much help, and this run is that help. This run gave it all of the help it needs. Because this is the thing. It's always been sitting at the precipice of an item that is broken. And that's why it's not stronger. It's not stronger because the second you make it just a little bit too strong, it snowballs into the strongest item in the game, right? If, if it's doing the same damage as every other weapon, it's obviously the one to pick then because you also get to buy a million items it's kind of a tricky thing you know six flat melee yes please i just don't want bag anymore i'm not gonna get handcuffs right now i will lock them though tardigrade's nice here Eh. A little bit of attack speed, a little bit of range. Don't really need the crit. We're probably doing a... Yes. Yeah, we're doing a 142% crit chance, which does not do... It does not do anything for us. I'm so glad it's this mini boss and not the, uh, the bull. Because, honestly, this is a really bad wave for us. Until it's not. It's a scary wave to get a mini boss on. I've said that a million times. It is a very scary wave to get a mini boss on. Whoop. Okay. Get a babby. Steal their money. Get a babby, steal the money. The thing is, they're a four for one as well, you know? Like you you kill the host. You get the the one proc, you kill the babbies, you get an extra three or so. Like it's it's a lot of money. It's it's cost effective. The craziest thing of all of this run is that like it is not foolproof and I could die. Like isn't that dumb? Uh this is speaking of dumb. Just give me survivability. All right, I'll do it. 
Oh. Well, we're up max HP that's irrelevant, unfortunately. Zoop. 226 on the hits. This... I don't know. The funny thing is, this run will make it look like Thieves Dagger is really good. And I need it on the record that, boy howdy, this is no normal data point. That is for sure. Like, I actually can't think of a, a weapon that benefits more from getting 100% crit scaling. Because, again, like, it's... Obviously, that benefits every really good crit scaling weapon. Like, it benefits knife a lot. But no item wants to hit that 100% crit faster. Well, I was going to say, than, than this. But, you know, Shuriken does. And I guess uh, Crossbow does. But it's just... It's most improved. That's for sure. It's most improved. Survivability or attack speed, I guess. I can reduce some HP and it doesn't do anything. Still at 145 crit chance. I can I can lose a lot of crit chance and it doesn't matter. Eh. I'm just gonna tunnel vision the bosses. I don't need that. Wandering bot I will take though. Could help me out. I mean I can lose the I can lose the max HP. It doesn't matter. I'm at 74, but I'm gonna be capped at 60. Uh. No, 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 it's no, not like this. This is not going well. Please, there we go. What a bad start that was. All right, now we're fine. I never killed that, that boss first. God, I hate this. Uh. Is it my range? Is that what it is that's causing this to be so awkward? Is it literally just my range? Oh my God. He hit me again. Oh, boy. I mean, I could just, like, run around and live. But where's the fun in that? All right. God. Oh, you know why it was so hard to freaking catch up to? I don't have Snail, but I do have... Uh, Where is it? Oh, I thought I bought that item this week. Yeah, I did. I did. I do not have snail, but I do have alien baby, and I don't have. That's what it. That's why that was so weird. I was wondering, wondering why I couldn't catch up to them. Usually, I have at the very least ugly tooth, and usually snail, but I don't have either of those today. And then I do have alien baby. That makes so much of a difference that I didn't realize. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. It's a very strong run, but it still almost died. It still almost died. We had three range up. Does this just have bad range, too? 150? What does normal knife have? 150. What's fist have? It's, I would, oh, it's 150. I would, I would have assumed it'd be less. So 150 is pretty standard. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it's just one of those runs where I got uh, mentally worn down because I was like, I don't have to try for so long. And then it just went to hell. Uh, but alas, alas, very fun. Tags definitely work. Uh, I'll look into them here, make sure I didn't break something with it. But I don't think I did. I think I got a lot of crit items, but uh, as much as I think I got as much as I would have had I been playing um, uh, Hunter. I really do. I think so. And anything else is just like, can be chalked up to, well, that was a lucky run. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you can lean into the thematic uh, strategy of your infinite roll much easier now, I like it a lot. I think we're very, very close to uh, like the first kind of public release of it. Uh, again, no promises on like updating it or fixing it or anything like that. This was just for me. And then people happen to want it really bad. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that, and that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.